I have a feeling this isn't over yet. We don't get many genuinely unique first person shooters anymore, but Mouse is definitely one. It's Doom meets Steamboat Willie, and every time we post about it on TikTok, it blows up. But the truth is, we actually know very little about it. I'm Matt from FGS, and this is Discover Something New, a weekly show that helps you discover amazing new games from innovative indies to off-the-radar double A's. If that sounds like your kind of thing, then you should probably subscribe, but for now, let's get back to Mouse. Games with a unique art style get me very excited indeed, regardless of genre. In a previous life, I was a professional animator, and from Cuphead to Harold Halibut, if your game looks like the stuff that inspired me to get into a career, I am all in. And while Mouse definitely triggers that nostalgic part of my brain, there is also something even more unique about it. The blending of retro 2D animation art style with 3D FPS gameplay simply should not function. How can I be moving around these fully 3D realized environments and be shooting at a 2D classically drawn enemy and it just works? My brain simply can't comprehend it from a technical point of view, but it doesn't need to. But this isn't just a basic arena shooter with a fancy art style. According to the game's Steam page, you play as Detective John Mousington in a noir-style mystery. You'll be battling your way through a corrupt city full of crooks and baddies, with a huge array of weaponry. The gameplay trailers that have been released so far have already shown off several of these weapons and traversal mechanics, from shotguns to snipers to grappling hooks and even finger guns. It looks like the story is going to be communicated through NPC dialogue, as well as hidden collectible trading cards and newspapers within each level. We notably don't get a glimpse of any cutscenes in any of the trailers, so perhaps they're not in the game. The game is obviously taking inspiration from classic cartoons like Steamboat Willie, which is now in the public domain, meaning we can actually see some form of the iconic classic Disney mascot make an appearance perhaps as a boss or main NPC. But this isn't where the inspiration ends for Mouse. In a recent trailer, we also saw the player take a power-up in the form of a can of spinach, just like the unforgettable 1980s movie starring Robin Williams, Popeye. which is rumored to be rebooted this year, starring UFC fighter Colin McGregor. Those words I just read are upsetting, and I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an announcement to make. In a brave new world, anyone can be whoever they want to be, and nothing says you more than a can of healthy spinach. Spike D, with its special secret ingredient. Kids, remember your five a day. Of course, the spinach power-up is a reference to the original Popeye cartoon that's existed since the 1920s, but it makes you wonder about all the other classic tropes that we could see introduced as gameplay mechanics. We also get to see a mysterious cheese power-up. Perhaps this is just a way to regain health, although when the player takes it in this clip, they are already at 100 out of 50 health, and I'm just not smart enough to do the math on that. And later on, we see a coffee power-up that seems to activate those finger guns. To me, these feel like the plasmid power-ups from Bioshock, consumables that give you the upper hand for a short period of time. Another genre that Mouse is clearly leaning into that we simply don't see enough of in video games is comedy. From the main character's name being a pun, to the aforementioned finger guns, it's clear that this game is not here to take itself too seriously, and I'm all for that. The South Park games remain some of my favorite games of all time because they were written with a comedy-first mentality, and flip the old-school turn-based RPG genre on its head to provide a genuinely new experience for gamers. Too bad Snow Day didn't quite get the memo. Man, it's a snow day, the most magical of days in a young child's life. Oh, right, by the way, since you last played, we had to redo all the rules and start over because somebody got all OP. If Mouse can do the same for first-person shooters, building on the well-established gameplay of Doom and slapping comedy on top of that, then I think we're on to a winner. Another Crab's Treasure recently did this with the Souls-like genre. You don't need to reinvent the wheel when it comes to gameplay if you lean into the underserved comedy genre. But don't let the childlike touchstones and upbeat music fool you. This is going to be a gritty, gory affair. 
from Fallout style limb explosion to guns that set your foes on fire. All of the violence is so much easier to swallow when you're looking at the exploded neck stem of a cartoon mouse instead of the ultra realistic Unreal Engine 8 graphics countless modern games are going for. But the gritty doesn't end with the violence. We know from the Steam page that we're here to solve some sort of noir style mystery. And from diving deeper on the trailers, it seems like at least one level is a prison escape. This poor sod has clearly been tortured, and this section with the old timey flashlight and dark corridor is giving me the creeps. Not to mention that we all spotted those spider webs, okay? And I know we don't see any other glimpses of monsters or spiders in the trailers, but if some creepy 1920s stop go animation style spider crawls out from around that corner, I'm done, I'm out, it's over. It's landed a safe spot on most anticipated game lists across the internet. And while you can go and wishlist it right now on Steam, I wouldn't let your hype train build up too much momentum just yet. The developers, Fumi Games, don't have any released games under their belt, although they are working on another game alongside Mouse titled Galaxy Taxi, which looks like a sci-fi crazy taxi meets Cuphead. But Galaxy Taxi doesn't have a release date yet either. So maybe we should all just temper our expectations on how close these games are to launch. Mouse is slated to come to PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, and PC sometime in 2025. And it really does feel like that every game slated for 2025 is just waiting for the official GTA 6 release date so that they can avoid it as much as possible. Hopefully we see more of Mouse this summer. Remember, June is a time for many, 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 many game showcases from opening night live to our very own future game show, Summer Showcase. So subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on the 90 plus minutes of brand new game announcements and developer deep dives all hosted by some of the biggest names in the gaming industry. And to keep you satisfied up until then, remember that we are posting the spotlight videos every single Thursday to help you find your new favorite video game that might be flying under the radar. I'm Matt for FGS and I'll see you on the next one.